Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Full Tech. I was using the Oxygen S13 stable F11 build on my OnePlus 9RT from last few days. We also created the review video of that stable update. You can check that from the iCard. I also promised in that video to give the full battery and the gaming experience of this new stable build. So I was just preparing for that video, but yesterday we got another small update: Oxygen S13 F12. Actually, I didn't got the notification of this update was stock OTA. So I used the Oxonus updater application. There you got the notification of this update. It's just 18 MB in size and change log is mentioned as the system stability. If you are using the Oxonus 12 build, then you may get the full OT of 5 GB with the same change log of stable Oxonus 13 that you reviewed in the old updates. I also given the OTA zip under the video description. You can download and manually flash the update was stock local install that I will show you next in the video. But here I downloaded the OTY Oxonos updater application. As this update is just a system stability update and its base is same as the F11. So we will test its performance and CPU throttling comparison, battery backup of Oxonos 13 and the real life gaming performance. And bugs with my final verdict, is it worth to upgrade to the Oxonos 13 or not? Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. First, we'll see the flashing of new OTA. I downloaded the 18 MB package via Oxonos updater application. You can follow the flashing process even though you are downloaded the package from the external sources. You will find this package under the root of the storage. Its extension must be in .zip format. If it's in any other format, then rename it to .zip file. Now go to the about phone and tap on the OTA update. Then tap 3 dot menu and select the local install. Now locate your downloaded file. Now system will verify and tells you this is the Android 13 F12 build. Once confirmed then tap extract and finally tap on install. Phone reboots and once flashing gets done, phone boots to the new Oxonus 13 F12. Let's jump to the about phone to check if anything new can find here. Here we will check we are now upgraded to the new Oxonus 13 F12 update. If you tap on the version tab, there you will get the same change log detail that you seen before upgrading the device. If you check the about version section, it's the same Android 13 build with the Android 13 clock easter egg. Surprisingly, security patch is of same October 2022. I don't know why OnePlus is releasing the updates after updates without updating the security patches. Except this, all the things are same in this build. Now let's do the performance comparison of F12 against the F11 build. In the first appearance, F12 build has the same fluidity and the snappiness in the performance. One thing I noticed after the update, device got too much hot without doing any activity. So I tested the temperature of device, it's about 46 to 47 degrees Celsius, which is pretty high because I didn't use any applications or anything after the update. Device felt warmer on the back near camera area while using it after the update. When I ran the Geekbench, we got the score of 702 for the single core and 3240 for the multi core. If you check the old F11 update test results, there we got the 792 and 3341 respectively. So both the results are slightly lower in F12 as compared to the F11 build. After enabling the performance mode, again I ran the Geekbench test. Now I got 1090 and 3149. Both these scores are nearly similar with the results with the old F11 update. There we got the score of 1099 and 3166 for the multicore. If we test the performance of the OpenGL graphics API, we got 4643 while on the F11 build results was 4590. So slight improvement is found in case of the latest build. On the Hulkan graphics API result is 4670 while on the old F11 result is 4720. Results are almost similar in the both the builds. So in final conclusion, performance of the both the builds is similar though there is a slight difference between the Geekbench results. But as compared to the Oxonus 12 results, they are way higher and real life performance is also very good for the Oxonus 13 builds. Next is the CPU throttling test to confirm is the new Oxonus 13 F12 builds can withstand the CPU intensive task. Temperature of device is cooling down to 32 to 35 degrees Celsius. Then I ran the test on the 20 threads when I stopped the test after 5 minutes. Results are amazing. We got the 93% of CPU throttling means device managed to maintain the CPU temperature in the heavy task. 
temperature during this test was rising up to 47 to 50 degrees Celsius. If we compare these results with the old F11 results, they are same because last time we ran the test slightly more for the 7 minutes and we got the score of 90%. Now it's time to tell you how is the battery performance on the new Oxonus 13. Current results are for the F11 as the both the F11 and F12 has the same generic codes. Battery results will be same for the both the builds. Here if you check my current battery stat, it's good because I got total uses of more than 14 hours with the 5.5 hours of the screen on time and still 30% of batteries left. So definitely it will cross 18 hours of total users with the 6 hours of SOT. In this users, I updated my device, ran the CPU throttling and the Geekbench like heavy activities. Lots of applications are already used in the app's usage. As I was not able to use this device as my primary device because of my work, I can't able to give you the full 100 to 0% of battery stats. But I gathered some results of users from the telegram group and they are amazing. Like here one user stat showing the device user for more than 28 hours and SOT is 5 hours and still the battery left is 24%. He also said some results with the some gaming. Here he got more than 22 hours of total users with the 7 hours of SOT. So conclusion after checking these results, if your users is normal, then you will definitely get the full day battery with the good SOT. But if you are a heavy gamer and using the camera a lot, then don't accept these results. Now comes the gaming part. New OT has the new gaming mode with the complete overall in user interface. Keep your game space app updated via Play Store because it will add more features in your game space application. Now game space look and access is completely changed here. We can access the game space by swiping from the top left or the right areas. Previously we are able to access it by swiping from the corner edges of the device. User interface of the game space is also changed here. We case the screen FPS details in a big number at the top. On the left part, we can add the important apps to be used as a multi-window while playing. There is a brightness ladder added in the game space, so no need to access the quick setting panel to change the brightness of the device. We can edit these tiles or can add more applications in the game space area. All the other options are same here like the performance mode, game focus mode, touch sensitivity, but some options like the lightning start is new while well, the game filter is available but it only works for the some supported gaming applications. So how is the real life gaming experience? On the new build we didn't get the 90fs option in a game space but the game stays on the 60fs all the time while playing. Performance and the graphics quality is top notch. I am not a pro gamer and never use a smart device for the gaming but I can definitely tell you you will love the gaming on this device after Oxenos 13 update because of the game space optimizations. So final question arises what are the bugs? I didn't found any bugs but the issue of no fast boot mode still persists here except this everything seems fine in the first impression. So this is all about the new TF12 for the OnePlus 9 RT. Though some pure Oxonos fan did not like the look of new color OS mixed Oxonos but in my opinion OnePlus added amazing performance best battery life, tons of customizations, amazing gaming experience in the new Oxonus 13. So my recommendation is to forget some user interface element and you will really fall in love with the Oxonus 13 F12. That's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you to take the decision to upgrade your device or not, then please do like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. It's